Hi guys, it's Pure Gamer, and today we're playing Prison Architect. Now, this is a good game that I've had for a very long time. And basically, you just build prisons. Um, try and ca I try and cause chaos because it is a lot better trying to cause chaos on this game because it's funny when they start kicking off and you're trying to get them in solitary and punish them in the right way. Now, we have had a lot of riots going on because we've got a lot of high profile prisoners, and we've also overrun as you can see at the top left hand corner we have 273 prisoners altogether but we can actually harm we can only actually house 248 so we've got a bit of a problem and then we've got 29 officers right next to it you can see 29 28 it's going down and then it goes up a bit they're actually able to be just free and wandering around the prison not actually be set as a target. And then we've got 322 pres uh, police officers slash guards all together. And some of them will be on duty and patrolling. And some will be set to set areas. Now uh, we have dog units. We have normal guards that I've equipped with tasers through the bureaucracy. Where we can pretty much equip everything from just regular security and maintenance to... Ground keeping, cleaning, prisoner labour, taxes, legal prep, surveillance that's really good, guard towers, the dogs, the patrols, the body armour, equipping all, tase, all guards with tasers, but they need to take lessons, so it's kind of realistic in a way, because they have to take lit, not tasers, they've got to take the lessons to get the tasers. So we, got, we, set, we built this prison a while ago, very, very, very long time ago. But at the moment, we've had a bit of trouble. We've had a lot of riots because high profile targets. And we're having a problem housing the prisoners. Um, we've just had death row taken off us because we accidentally executed someone by mistake. Because the game pretty much just lets you do what you want until you do something really wrong. But I got a warning last time saying I would be fired if I execute someone again without the right grounds. But. I think we're going to start this off with checking our regime. This is up to you whether you make the regime. I have it quite relaxed. They only do three hours of work and then the rest of the time they have free time to eat and they're in their cells locked up or sleeping or yard and free time and just relaxing really because I think they do less riots when they're, let, when they're not as much stressed. You have to sometimes meet their needs, otherwise they'll start kicking off. As you look around the prison, you'll see quite a lot of the prisoners. I don't, yeah, like these ones here, all have like the handcuffs on them, and that's because they've caused like crimes within the prison. So you have your policies, and you can complain, and, and yeah, I don't know why I've got perform and perform prisoner and cell search and lockdown for 24 hours for complaining because that just means everyone's going to prison. I think if I did that by mistake. Get rid of that. There we go. Alright, we don't want any cries for complaining. Right, so then you've got destroying prisoner property. We've got the search of prisoners in cell. Solitary for 168 hours. And as you can just see, as we go down the list, you get time, whether it's solitary or lockdown. And I get to choose what sort of punishment suits best. And that's why a lot of these prisoners are in trouble because I do searches a lot. Like every so many days I do a search because it stops the fights having weapons because they do make weapons and or try and dig out because we've had a problem over here where we had the canteen as you can see this bit here and like here let's build a canteen because these are actually three cells there was three or four cells here small ones and they had this all the way down because they've been destroying the walls and the flooring and trying to escape hence why we are actually got so much security now and we got these riot guards that we can probably get rid of now get rid of them. I think it actually costs to have them. But as you can see we're sort of on like a creative mode, a bit like Minecraft because we have infinity and cash. But at the side, on the right hand side you can see we're in we're minus 58,300 and that's 84. 
in debt. So if we did have cash, we wouldn't be able to buy anything until we got rid of that. But we have prisoners that work, so they're earning cash too. They're also earning like like diplomas and things like that, so when they come out of prison they can go and do jobs. I think it's more about reforming them sometimes on this game. You've got to reform them and you get better pay. So it's yard time now, but in between yards they will go and have showers because there's not really big if a yard. It's not one of my best yards. Normally you can have like a massive like yard across like the whole thing. In the middle of the present, but I thought I'd just have a small one going around the um, canteen, but you know that. There's more staff being hired or new equipment being bought basically. We got our sniper towers. This was just um, updated today. I don't know. I would assume it was updated today because yesterday I was playing this game. And I thought I'd definitely got to live stream this tomorrow. But luckily enough, we got an update today that included better stuff like sniper towers and the sniper moon and some new things that we can use like structure within structure and the walls. We have new walls and there's new flooring and items and objects. Now, I'm not sure why this isn't moving, because it was here to take the death row prisoners away, I think. Um, that might just be glitched. I'm not really sure. That's kind of holding everything up, really. But this is your emergency... Um, like you'll have all your emergency service like the police the paramedics and the fire all pull up on this side the prison buses normally pull up on this side but i guess this is broke or i don't really know what's going on with this prison bus because it's been here for a good few hours now but um we can speed up time and pause it and we can find out how our prisoners are the 246 prisoners here it says that have serious complaints and then there's 200 well 300 now it's going up 400 prisoners have armed recently it's kind of good and five prisoners say they're being treated well the danger is high level so things can kick off at any moment but luckily enough for us we have an armed police well not armed police they're just armed units ready on standby if anything kicks off because Get rid of that there. We have guard response and then we have free fire where we can just send this. We'll just press it like here. We kick off, let's say. Hang on. Free fire. You know, so all armed teams will immediately be activated. And then you have guard response and it sends the nearest guards. And if you keep pressing it, it just sends every guard. I think what we should do. Now, the best thing to do. When you want to do a shakedown, search all the cells and prisoners, is send them back to their prison. Send them back down to their cells. They're all willing prisoners. It's normally all prisoners, unless there's a riot. Right. We want to do that. Okay. Uh, I thought that was a prisoner then. Excuse me. For thinking that. Give them a good few minutes to get back to their cells and just... Because now it's in lockdown, so they're not on their regime of work or whatever they were doing. Go, it's saved. Right, let's just check everyone's so right. So now what we want to do is gonna do a shakedown. And that basically just means everywhere is getting searched. So all the guards, I think besides the armed. I'm not sure the arm might, I don't know. Don't think they do. But every other guard sort of thing and police and all that. Search everywhere and they'll find drugs to scissors. Sometimes you'll find phones and luxuries and things like that. So you can find anything. And they pop up at the bottom. Like what they just found there. I think that's a cigarette, I think. That's a knife. See, people try and obviously smuggle things in. Into the import and export area and deliveries. So we have to search there. We have a shovel, so someone's trying to escape. I'm not sure what that is. Guess that's drink or alcohol or oak or so. I have no idea what that one is. You have the scissors, that's glass, I'm assuming, or some sort of weapon. 
but they just pop up and they tell you how many of each thing because you want to keep your prison calm and start riot so you get rid of this kind of sets the prisoners off quite annoyed or oh, you won't want a lot of stuff being found here but you definitely don't want obviously your prisoners writing with massive like hedge cutters like that so you do these searches, but if you keep doing them like I do, you do actually get, end up getting more rights, and that's not really what you want, but I guess at the end it's kind of okay. I'm going to get this prison bus to move. Nothing obstructing it, so I'm not really sure, really. Because these are all moving past. Right, let's just take a bit of time from time to search. Obviously, they've got everywhere to search. They even sell the search the kitchens, like here, check all the food coming in. Gotta search all these here, and we are actually quite down on some stuff, actually, I think. Because a few have been killed in the right, so. Go to higher staff. I think we'll equip more staff. Here we go. There we go. We got our full maximum. We'll hire a couple more chefs. There you go. That'll do. Check the area. So here you have your. I'm not sure what this is actually. Can't quite just read that. Basically, you have offices where you have like therapists and things like that over here you have your power and then you have your chief's office and your security room with the cameras and the wire traps and things like that and you have your basically you have the offices you know with the very important like the chief and the person in charge of the prison Hang on, he's been released. Oh, it's okay. I thought he was trying to escape. Escape then. I might get my words mixed up today. He's still complaining about safety on his way out. Alright, let's move these here. Over here. They're not exactly needed. Move this person over here. Hmm. Right, let's speed up the the um, searches. Yeah, they just randomly find things. Obviously, things keep getting delivered. So technically, we need to kind of block this off because if more stuff's getting <coughs> delivered, sorry about that. If more stuff's getting delivered, then you can't really search everything can you because if more things are getting delivered all the time it's a never-ending oh there's blood unconscious we need a nurse or something oh there's quite a few people injured here hmm this isn't a good sign is it six people have, seven people have died today We still have 267 prisoners and we can only take 247. So we are seriously pushing our boundaries really. We're kind of equipped for this with the guards, but obviously big prison guards are everywhere. Let's have a look at the contraband for the past seven days. Obviously I'll have my... Um, Metal detectors, so things are picked up here. All this is detected. Have just sniffer dogs and guards that'll spot things, and tomorrow this side things are spotted because obviously they come through the this area. They come through the import and export, so they just get brought through, and they're going towards the kitchen or they're going somewhere around the prison. It's not actually normally. Guards, prisoners due for release. One prisoner is due for a release. The three prisoners are up for parole. 
Your prison is currently closed to new inmates. Yeah, that's... We don't want new inmates. We're just struggling with the ones we've got. These are all the programs. You have your guard taser. Your guard... Yeah, your guard taser. Don't know why I hesitated on that. Your parole hearings, obviously. Only one out of one prisoners are actually taking that when there's 53 up for parole. Yeah. I'm not even going to attempt that because... I'm really bad at saying that word. Pharmacological treatment and drug addiction. The room is in the infirmary. Okay. Normally they're taken in classrooms, but okay. Oh, right, okay. So these can't be taken because there's no, no classroom or there's no actual time in the day that they can be taken. So obviously this is 2 p.m. till 6 p.m. and that's 2 p.m. till 5 and on and on and on. Bit of a weird timing. Hooray, we've got rid of them. Not in a bad way, and we've got rid of the prison boss. The ambulance, that's good. Right. Okay, we can kind of stop that. Then that, right, so everyone's kind of sleeping, right? We'll slow it down now. See what's going on, really. It's funny, the minute I start recording, all the riots stop, everything that stops, it's purely just everything that's calm now, it's the aftermath really. As you see there, the doctors are giving medical assistance to the guards, and they do that too, they should really be doing it to... He's, why is he starving? Why, why are these... <laughs> that shouldn't... Are they not getting food right? Basically what happens is, if you don't have your canteen in the right place. They don't... Basically, the, this side might not get to this prison because they might only be able to serve for this side. That's also another reason why I thought it'd be better to build another kitchen because we need more food and we are low on food. But let's have a look. Where are we going? You can never find where I'm going in this game. It's a mystery. Oh well, we'll just have a look. Informants. I've never been used to hire informant. And inmates who are locked up in solitary, 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 I mean, are sometimes willing to become informants. There you go, that's a riot. There you go. He thinks he's getting away. Uh, no. Oh, no. Definitely not going away with that. Look at that guard response. Might be slow, you think, but it's actually not. And I don't know why all the clean... All oh, right, yeah, because while they're busy, they clean at set times. So early hours in the morning, they'll all clean set areas. And then later at night, they'll all be on this side cleaning. It's weird. Because sometimes they don't clean, like here. There's dirt in the shower. They should be cleaning that, not going up here. But there's only a bit of blood. It takes like a couple of seconds there for them to clear. But you can't really do much, can you? These are the death row cells. We've got one here. One there. And one there. And one there. And then you've got our actual death row electric chair. A bit old fashioned, really. And the one guard protecting it. And then this whole outline here is the actual so solitary slash detention area where only people who are in solitary can be walked down or guard basically people who are under high security for the death row or solitary people can be walked through here or people who are under the witness protection program because there is actually you can actually put your prisoners in like a witness protection sort of thing prisoners right let's pick on this prisoner here you could lower his security or hire it not that one. The security, you could have him medium and him in protective custody. You know, there's lots you can do. I want to know. I take it they're not eating because they're in serious punishment, I guess. And then they'll end up dying, won't they? If they don't eat because he's low on health. He's injured them. I guess they want food, so we need to give them what they want and find out where that thing is. 
contraband informants, prisoners, staff, higher staff sectors. Calories, just kitchen, canteen. Okay, so all areas are actually getting food. Right, okay. Um, everyone's getting laundry service. Yeah, that's fine. Punch around. Once again, we're back here again, so maybe it's not this one. Finance. Never look at the finance when you're on Infinity Cash and that, because it's just no point unless you're trying to get your finance back down. Can't find it now. I always thought it was only just. There you go. That's cell quality. Auto link, auto link. I always thought there was something else you could click on. There's no labour. Okay, I don't know why that's saying that now, actually. Why can't I find it now? Programs. Policy. I think it's under policy. Other policies. Ego, right. So, meal variety, high. Meal quality, quantity, high. Right, so they're all getting a large amount of meals, so it's obviously they're just stuck locked down in there. Look, these aren't eating when. Well, there's not really anyone. There's no. Two people are eating. I always press it a bit too late, don't I? Maybe we just need to do this. I know it's a bit boring, like, but maybe it has to be done because if everyone's just stuck in prison, sleep, sleep, lock up. The only time they can come out is when they're to eat. probably wondering why I give them two hours to eat but it's because some of them are obviously when normally they're working or that having a shower or they're on their free time before they, before they eat. Let's change that to sleep so they're getting more sleep actually. Alright, then we'll have lock up, lock ups, eat. Come on, eat. Eat, there we go. That'll do. We, in fact, we won't have a shower for them because they just end up kicking off in the showers. Uh, in fact, yeah, we will have a shower. But we won't give them that long to shower. In fact, no, no. For the first few days, we'll give them that. Right, sleep, sleep. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Right. Right, so now, hold, keep hold. Let go, oh. Right, now we've got it. Lock up, lock up, right there on lock up, there lock up. Now it's lock up here.
that can eat. And then... There we go. Let's change that to sleep, that to sleep. How about them? Give them, put them in lock, damn. Yeah, they might get bored. And they're not being able to change the clothing here, are they? Because they're in prison sort of thing. They're in a confined armory. Because we've only got so many solitaries, we've got to put them in rooms separate. Look, the whole holding cell here is full of people that are... They've just got to be stuck in it. Right, we need to get rid of these, damn. I know you think it's a bit, probably think it's a bit stupid to hold and sell, they can't even leave their own sort of little area. We've got to put proper cell doors if we're going to have massive amounts of people here. Um, walls, then we go over to the doors. We put one there, one there, and another one there. I think she's a lot better really. Alright, we'll speed up time. So we can get them to take them down. Yeah. There you go, it just makes it more of a prison light sort of thing if the because these are obviously in solitary confinement, but fully not because there's no solitary confinement left. There's one here, it's not far off death. There you go, being taken to the doctor's room. It's over here. 20 people have died today. I want to know if they're officers or not, actually. I don't think they are, because I think the officers are actually getting... Uh... Yeah, so it's not law enforcement, so it's just prisoners that have died today. More and more dying as we're talking. So... I think we need to hire more doctors, definitely. We can have up to 50 docs, 50 or 60 doctors. Can't quite see that then. Um, that's better, it gives us more. Because obviously they don't all walk out, some of them have to stay, so. Gives it a bit more reasonable. We can actually expand. Okay, so. That's an escaped attempt. So this room is no longer. Bit a little armory now, because we do need more armory actually. Just thought you gotta fit a bench in there, that's not gonna work. Brooms. Um There you go, there's the two hours to eat where everything will kick off now. Let's just put the guards straight on free fire. While they're eating. Want a high quantity of guards. Because there's no point in having armed guards and not using them because they're kicking off too quickly. Put them here. These are all starving, but then I guess it's their own fault because they can't leave. But I could take the punishments off, really. I don't think anything would actually happen. I took the pun punishment off. I 
I think they would still do their time until they've done the punishments. <clears throat> right, what's this? If they killed my foreman. Hi, staff. Right, we've got one out of five noise. We've got da -da -da, one. Allows gain access to gardens. And what's the difference between the worker and the foreman, actually? Allows you to gain access to the gardeners and janitors. Ah. Gardeners and janitors. Hey. That needs knocking down, that needs knocking down. What is that? That's just not... It's the armed guards are going back, they've had enough, they're on strike. No, they only stay there for a little bit. But they're back on lockup now, I guess, so... Guard. Where have all my builders actually gone? 190, 195 of them. All busy doing other stuff. Probably trying to keep away from the riots, to be honest, actually. An ambulance here, that's going to take all the people who died, isn't it? What next? Let's do a random stop and search. He's not guilty then, because normally they just run off on this game. If they're guilty, if they're hiding something. more cleaning going on really. We got it's finally being knocked down. Prioritize job. And it done as soon as possible. These have been moved to solitary. Probably. Death today, zero people, that's getting better. Sorry about that guys, I've been going quiet by the way, I'm just Concentrating on, don't know really what I'm concentrating on really. I'm gonna get this all done here. Nope, don't wanna follow him. Right.
Where is structure? Here we go. Not really sure why it's blocked. Let's see if we can get him to build a quick room then. There you go, this will do. Right, let's get rid of this as a room if we can. Right, I spent ages trying to get all the flooring that wasn't a cell, wouldn't, so I'll have that done. Right, while well, waiting for that to all happen, we'll go on. Right, so we got everything in lock locked down. I had no deaths today. Keep on the sniper towers. We got workers working. Got everything going on. I think we're gonna leave it this time. Um Yeah, I think we should leave it. And we'll do another episode on this later tomorrow. Um I think maybe what we should try and do is that present value, we should try and get it out of the minus 180,000 and the daily profit out of the minus 168,000. Not, I, I think I just said 168,000, I just mean 68,330. And I think we might get somewhere and we'll try and get a couple of riots maybe involved. Have a bit of fun with it. But um, this has been this episode of. Um, Prison Architect, this is the first episode. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.